this is my wall, my Lego Star Wars wall. I'm working on collecting every Lego Star Wars minifigure ever made. And we have a lot to go. I'm about halfway done. Every uh, blank spot is a guy I still need, a missing figure. But that's okay because today I have several new guys that I'm going to be adding to the wall. And a lot of them are going to be filling in this 2023 little area down here. So without further ado, let's get started. Alrighty, so we'll start with the oldest guys first. And we'll go back to 2013 for young Boba Fett here. So this is my first young Boba Fett, so I'm very glad to finally have one. This is the version that came out in the advent calendar for the year. So he's got the big old grin on his face. He's got, you know, his Camino uniform on. The blue on the back. And then he's got his little quizzical face on the, the back side there. And this is a cool, nice little minifigure. This one is not very expensive. He's about a $5 to $7 minifigure. The other one, uh, there's two young Boba Fetts in the... I guess there's actually three. And both of those are vastly more expensive than this one, but I'm glad to finally have one in my collection. In the middle here is another character I've been looking for for a really long time, actually, and that's Snow Chewbacca. So this guy came out in the advent calendar um, in the year, what was it, 2016. So he's, uh, he's a little bit old, um, and he's just a cool Wookiee to have, I think, just a white Wookiee. He does have, you know, the Christmas color bandoliers there, so he can't fit into any Star Wars mock if you're really paying attention, but I think he just makes a cool, you know, unique Wookiee. He's got the back printing there. And it's a very good one to have. I'm glad to finally have him. And he's about a seven to eight dollar minifigure. Um, on the right there is Supreme Leader Snoke. Uh, another figure I've actually had on my list for a really long time, so I'm glad to finally have him as well. Um, he's got the really cool pearl gold robes. There's not a whole lot of minifigures that are printed in this color. So on the back side, he's got that as well. Um, his face has got all his scarring and stuff. So pretty, pretty nasty looking. And this guy came out in, I believe, 2017 or yeah, 2017 um, in the First Order Star Destroyer as well as Snoke's Throne Room. Um, it makes him a little bit more sought after. He's about a $10 minifigure. But that does it for these three guys. Let's get on the next one. All right, so we're jumping all the way to 2023. We uh, are just jumping into the brand new minifigures. So up first, we have the, the 501st Clone Troopers from the Clone Trooper Battle Pack at the start of the year. And these are very controversial minifigures, surprisingly. I'd never thought there was any issues with them. I was so excited to finally get these guys. But no one likes these helmet holes. And I can understand why. They definitely stick out. They're not great looking. But I think it's still, you shouldn't detract from the pretty awesome minifigures we got. So on the left here, we have the Clone Trooper Officer. And these are all based off of like the, the Battlefront 2 versions. Um, so he comes with the, the blue antenna. Um, he's got some unique printing on the bottom there with the, the comma. And it would be nice, you know, to get a cloth comma. That is the, the sticking point, I think, is the real sticking point. The Clone Troopers should come with their cloth pieces. In the middle there, we have the clone Heavy Trooper, and this one's probably my favorite of the three. He's got, you know, the, the cool visor. He's got actually a, a unique um, helmet print there with the, the armor stripes up at the top. And then he's got his bandolier down the middle, and on the, the back here, if we can angle him right, he's got his backpack, which is really, really cool to get, I think. On the right here, we have the clone Trooper Specialist, and this is also, I think, a really cool minifigure because we get this... Uh, awesome visor piece finally and that can that just paves ways for a lot of cool minifigures to come out like Bly so that's a cool piece to get um, what makes this guy exclusive besides that piece is his uh, torso here he's got the solid blue arms as well as the the little insignia there on his uh, chest on the back is just standard printing but that does it for these three guys let's get on to the next ones Alrighty, next up we have a couple characters from Mandalorian Season 3. We have a pirate snub fighter pilot and Vane. So these guys were those pirates that attacked uh, the Mando and Grief Karga in Season 3. And these are two pretty decent minifigures. Um, I really like uh, new pilots. So we got a cool, nice pearl gold helmet on this guy. Nice printing all around. Um, he's got the same head actually as Vane does, which is a little disappointing, but uh, you know, you know, what can you do? Um, back printing actually on the back of the head there. Um, it's the Nikto, so he's got the, the horns on him. And then on the right there is Vane, so he's the, the named character. He's got his pirate sword, 
pretty good printing all around actually like really really good and he's got like a uh, the cap and the bandana for his head there so two really good minifigures and a pretty decent set as well I really like the the snub fighter set it's a cool little build but that does it for these two guys let's get on the next one all right next up we have some figures from episode six these guys all came out in the speeder bike diorama set from 2023 and these are all very very good minifigures I'm very very excited to have them because it has been forever since we've gotten um, Endor, Luke, and Leia. So I don't think we've ever gotten um, uh, an Endor, Leia. Oh no, I take that back. The last time we got an Endor, Leia in like her commando uniform was in the bunker set from like 2007. So it's been a really long time from her. And then Luke in his um, Endor getup uh, hasn't been made since they were doing yellow skin. So it's really, really awesome to finally get these guys. So on the left here, we have Princess Leia. She's got her helmet on. Um, really nice printing on the front and the legs. On the back here, she's got a little angry face for alternate head. In the middle here, we have a scout trooper. And this is the standard scout trooper we've been getting for quite a few years now. Um, it looks perfect, like the helmet is great, the printing is great. What makes this guy exclusive is the um, head print underneath. And then on the right here, we have Endor Luke, also a very sought after minifigure for me at least. Um, he's kind of got like the below here, you can see the black of his cloak, and then he's got the, the Endor Rebel helmet. And then on the back there, he's got his alternate head as well. But that does it for these three guys. Let's get on to the next ones. Now, next up, we have some amazing minifigures. 2023 was just an amazing year for LEGO Star Wars, it really was. So these guys all came out in the Coruscant Guard gunship. We have Padme Amidala here, and this is in her uh, uniform that we see in the Clone Wars quite a bit, but it's made in the, the realistic version. They actually have made uh, Padme in this outfit before, but it's in the Clone Wars style, so she's got that really ugly uh, you know, print there. I don't have that one in my collection yet, but uh, you know, I'm glad to finally have this one. In the middle here, we have Clone Commander Fox, and Again, another controversial clone trooper. I think a lot of people are nitpicking his details. I think he looks really good with the exception of the cloth uh, uh, cape down at the bottom. I do really wish they would include that instead of printing it on the sides. Definitely detracts from the minifigure, I think, quite a bit. But other than that, he's got a really nice, you know, red helmet there. The uh, printing on his chest, they just still can't get the whites right on any print. So the red kind of bleeds through there, which is, again, a little unfortunate. On the back here, he does have some really nice printing as well. Then on the right here is the updated Shock Trooper, a minifigure that Star Wars fans have direly been asking for. The last one we got was in like 2014 and is a very, very expensive minifigure now. So it's awesome to finally get this redone. Um, and it's good. Again, he's got the uh, hole in the side of the head, but that doesn't matter to me. Um, it's just a really good Shock Trooper, I think, in my opinion. And then on the back there, pretty basic printing, but uh, gets the job done. It's got the red markings all around him. So awesome minifigures to get and finally add to the collection. But let's get on to the next one. All right, and last but certainly not least, we have the final minifigures from this haul. On the left here, we have the Emperor Palpatine, also from the Coruscant Guard gunship. And this is probably my mini, or my favorite minifigure from this haul. I mean, this figure is perfect. I have no, no issues with him whatsoever. He's got the, uh, the nice cape piece. It's from his episode three look, and it's really, really cool. Um, he's got an alternate head there, and he's like grimacing as Palpatine. The last time we got a, a version of this Palpatine was in the uh, Palpatine's arrest set, which was really long ago, and is of course a very expensive set to get nowadays. So I'm glad to finally get a, an updated version of him. On the right there is probably uh, the most boring figures, I think, from this haul, but still not bad. We have Holiday Ray in the middle and uh, Finn on the, the right there. And these guys, what makes them exclusive is, of course, the Holiday printing in the middle. They've So they've been doing the Holiday sweaters for Star Wars for a couple years now, and I, I think it's neat. I like the little gimmick. Um, so Ray has the Millennium Falcon and then Finn has the Rebel Insignia on his. So three pretty good minifigures, um, but that does it for this haul. Let's go add them to the wall real quick. This is my wall, my LEGO Star Wars wall. I'm working on collecting every LEGO Star Wars minifigure ever made. 
and we have a lot to go. I'm about halfway done. Every uh, blank spot is a guy I still need, a missing figure, but that's okay because today I have several new guys that I'm gonna be adding to the wall. And a lot of them are gonna be filling in this 2023 little area down here. So without further ado, let's get started.